So excited. Two, one. Yeah! I made it all up. Surprise. I oh, am surprised. On. If it makes you feel any better, they abandoned you at birth. So I very seriously doubt they even want to see you. Well, that does make me feel a bit better. Except not at all. Speed. Blazing speed. Ah. Um. I want to do. Eesh. Church, 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 church. Maybe. Well, that was about as useful as not useful at all. Jerry, no, I'm on a break, mate. On a break. And, ah, just hang in 
in there for five more... What, Jerry? You can't fire me for that. Yes, Jerry. Or maybe your prejudiced work site should have accommodated a nanobot of my size. Thanks for the hate crime, Jer. See you in court, mate. Anyway, look, just hang in there for, for five more chambers. The old formula. Comedy equals tragedy plus time. And you have been asleep for a while. So I guess it's actually pretty funny when you do the math. Well, guys, I'm tired. I think I'm gonna call it here. Thanks for watching. I know it's kind of a very awkward place to stop. But whatever. I love you. Check out these awesome bots. Probably can get plushies in each of any one of these off, off Etsy or something. Hope you're enjoying this. This is Portal 2 on Peepa Paul and... Good night and God bless. Hello friends, I'm Peapod Paul, and welcome to Portal 2. I have played this game before by the way, so I will try to do this fairly quick and see how fast I can beat it. Good morning, you have been in suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. So I'm hoping to do this within two this hours or so. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the up. You should now feel <sighs> mentally reinvigorated. I do. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Oh. Good. Now, please return to your bed. Well, that was a good day. Good morning. <laughs> you have been in suspension for... Nine, 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 nine. Hello? Anyone in there? Subject should vacate the enrichment Hello? immediately. Any test subject Are you going to open the door? Uh, in a minute. Uh, I need to clean up. Um, are you going to open this door? Just, just a minute. It's failure. Just, I, I'm cleaning up. Just open the door. Oh. All right, rejuvenate, 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 rejuvenate. Oh, oh dear. I'm sorry, excuse the mess. You look good. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? Are you... Don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Please prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all the same. Prepare. Ah. It's all fine. All right. Don't move. I'm going to get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice. Up to you. I'll hang on to the peaceful painting. So rejuvenating. So painting. You all right down there? Uh-huh. Can you hear me? Mm-hmm. Hello? I think he might not have good hearing. Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although if you do, if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Nah. Just tell me, just say yes. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped. But never mind. Say apple. Apple. Okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. All right. All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. I'm going back to sleep. Hey, look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty huh? hot water here. How are you doing down there? You still holding on? Yeah. The reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. And of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me?
anything. Why should I be kept informed? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. Why? It's close. Can you see? Am I gonna make it through? Will sure. Have space? Oh, you're good. You're uh, you're fine. Just just gotta get through you're here. Good. You're good. I, I Perfect. Just gotta concentrate. And whose fault do you think it's gonna be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? It just grazed it. it. Just grazed it. Okay, listen. We should get our story straight, all right? If anyone asks, and no one's going to ask, don't worry. But if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know. The last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive. All right? Not dead. Okay, almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. Oh, cool. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. A toaster. I think this is a docking station. Get ready. All right. Uh, dock a little Good news, harder. That is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. The override almost seems almost done. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes, not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. That's how you dock at a docking station. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open, and emergency testing will begin in Yay. three, two, one. Hello. I love emergency testing. It's the best kind. You always feel so exhilarated. Cube and button-based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button-based testing cause this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. You... If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your tablets. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. Cool. Ear tubes? Never heard of those. I wish I had ear tubes. I just have ears. Pink. What a fun chamber. Good. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. Cool. If the Earth is currently governed by a manner of animal king, sentient cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of listening to us. Hey, you made it! Yes. There should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. Oh! Looks more like a missing texture to me. Hello? Can you see the portal gun? Also, are you alive? That's important. Should have asked that first. I'm, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to work on the assumption that you're still alive, and I'm just going to wait for you up ahead. I'm still alive. I'll, I'll wait one hour, then I'll come back, and assuming I can... That's some cool day, fan I'll, art. I'll bury you. All right? Brilliant. Go team! See you in an hour, hopefully. If you're not dead. I smell story clues.
progress. Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Cool. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robots. To share. Good. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. Good to know. This next test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two, one. Oh my goodness. That is smooth. Wow, audio. Wow. So much disappointment. Great work. Because this message is pre-recorded, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. Oh. Oh, okay. If the Enrichment Center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. I wonder what kind of space debris will be part of the next test. <gasps> oh, there it is. Thought I might have to double click. Nice. Technology. We could use it for so many things. Like automagic stairs. Really, what else could you want to use technology for? That's what I ask. That would be my question to the reader. I'll take that, thank you. La di da di da, lo di do di do. Well done. The Enrichment Center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All aperture science personality constructs will remain really functional in apocalyptic, low power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. Cool. This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. He will help me. Jesus, take the wheel! Nothing. That seems like a test a -roni spot. a -roni. I wonder if this trick still works in, uh, Portal 2. Seems not. In any way. Okay, here we are. Booyah, baby. <gasps> oh, that was close. And... Da, 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 da. If you are a non-employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization, welcome. And remember, testing is the future, and the future starts with you. I am the future, I suppose. The future YOLO Jumper 2014! <clears throat> right, got a Q. 
Cubeer. Cubius Maximus. Future Ow. starter? That said, if you are simple-minded, old, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you, please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. Its sufficient power remains for core testing protocols. All safety devices have been disabled. That's the Enrichment really Center respects your right to have questions or concerns about this policy. Hey! Hi, hi! I'm up here! Oh, brilliant! You did find a portal gun! Yeah! Oh, the, do you know what? It just goes to show People with brain damage are the real heroes in the end, aren't they, at the end of the day? Brave. I am brave. Contact. Never saw that movie. Okay, listen, let me lay something on you here. It's pretty heavy. They told me never, never, ever to disengage myself from my management rail. That rail? Or I would die. Die? But we're out of options here, so... Get no. ready to catch me, Don't. all right, on the off chance Don't that I'm me. not dead the moment I pop off this thing. All right, well, I'll try. On three. Ready? All right. One. Two. All right. Three! That's high. It's it's too high. Oh, it's I get it. Down. It's all right. All right, going on three just gives you too much time to think about it. Let's uh, go on one this time. All right. Okay, ready? One. Catch me, catch me! Uh, uh, oop. Butterfingers. I am not dead. I'm not dead! <laughs> Plug me into that stick on the wall over there, yeah? And I'll what show stick? you something. You'll be impressed by this. Are, are you sure? That looks painful. Go on, just... Um, yeah, I can't do it if you're watching. Well, Seriously, I'm not, I'm not joking. Can you just turn around for a second? If you say so. All right, you can turn around now. Bam! Secret panel. Not open. While your back was turned. Okay, and off we go. I don't see how I... No rail to tell us where to go. Oh, this is brilliant. We can go wherever we want. Just hold on, then. Where are we going? Hang on, let me just get my bearings. Um, just follow the rail, actually. I mean, I don't see see why it's you know so important to follow the rail. Could I, oh my goodness. Oh no. Yes. Hello. No, we're not stopping. <laughs> don't make eye contact. Whatever you do. No, thanks. We're good. Appreciate it. Keep moving. Keep moving. Toda. Toda. Aw, I feel bad. I'm different. Probably ought to bring you up to speed on something right now. In order to escape, we're gonna have to go through her chamber and she will probably kill us if, if she's um, awake. I remember this. Okay, I'm gonna name the cards on the table. I don't want to do it. I don't want to go in there. Don't, don't go in there. Don't, she, she's off. She's off. Don't panic over. She's off. All fine. Home we go. Where's the cell phone? There was a red phone, and I was trying to make her get a call. It was a collect call. There she call. is. What a nasty piece of work she was. Honestly, like a proper maniac. Do you know who ended up? Uh, do you know who ended up taking her down in the end? You're not gonna believe this. A human. I know. I know. I wouldn't have believed either. Apparently, this human escaped, and uh, nobody's seen him since. Then there was a sort of long chunk of time where um, absolutely nothing happened. And then there's us escaping now. So um, that's pretty much the whole story. You're up to speed. Don't touch on it. Huh. That's strange. I, I I didn't see any other people when I was here. I I just tried to give her a collect call and she flew away. I don't know what the deal was with that. I guess someone grabbed her out of the sky. That's probably what happened. Okay, down these stairs. Jump! This, actually, look at it. That is quite. A, that's quite a distance, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. You know what? Uh, go ahead and jump. Ah! All right. Oh, still held. Still being held. You did, that's a great job. You've applied the grit. We're all fine. That's tremendous. Ah! I just sorry. I just looked down. I do not recommend it. Ah! I've just done it again. Don't worry about this it. This 
is the main breaker room. Let's go in. How would you even stand up to pull those down? You'd need a really tall ladder, and then it would knock into switches. Unpractical. Look for a switch that says escape pod. All right, don't touch anything else. Not interested in anything else. Don't touch anything else. Don't even, don't even look at anything else. Just, well, obviously you've got to look at everything else to, to find an escape pod. But as escape soon as you look at something, pod. it doesn't say escape pod. We'll look at something else. Look at the next thing, all right? But don't touch anything else or look at anything. We'll look at other things, but don't. You understand. All right. Can you see it anywhere? I can't see it anywhere. Uh, tell you what, plug me in and I'll turn the lights on. Oh, sure. That sounds good. Wait, I thought it wasn't supposed to... Let there be light. That's, uh... Genesis. God. It's quoting God. Oh, look at that. Turning. Ominous. But probably fine, as long as it doesn't start, you know, moving up. Now. Escape pod, escape pod. This is moving up. Oh. Okay. Okay, no, don't, don't worry, don't worry. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. This should slow it down. No, it makes it go faster. Uh-oh. Power up initiated. Okay, don't panic. All right, stop panicking. Uh, uh, like, like, I can still stop this. Um, let me out. Uh, Oh, there's a, there's a password. Okay, it's fine. I'll just, I'll just pass. Get out of the way, Weekly. A, 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 um, A. A, 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 C. Wait, did I do leave the job? Try B, try B. I don't, okay, 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 listen. All right, new plan. Act natural, act natural. All right, natural. I'm a rock. Oh, it's you. You know her? It's been a long time. No, I'm a rock. How have you been? Good, I've because I'm a rock. Really busy. S- sedimentary. That's sedimentary. You, me. you did what? Ah. Oh. oh no! No, 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 no! Oh no, 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 no! Okay, look. We both said a lot of things that you're going to regret. But I think we can put our differences behind us. For science. You monster. Well, I do love science. I will say, though, that since you went to all the trouble of waking me up, you must really, really love to test. I love it, too. There's just one small thing we need to take care of first. Whee! I wonder if I have to go back and give her a call. Maybe because she missed her call, she's upset. Well, I'm sure I'll find a I'll find a red phone somewhere around here. Oop. Here we are, the incinerator room. Be careful not to trip over any parts of me that didn't get completely burned when you threw them down here. The Alrighty. portal device should be around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start testing, just like old time. Ah. There it is. Hold on. There. Good. You have a dual portal device. There should be a way back to the testing area up ahead. Once testing starts, I'm required by protocol to keep interaction with you to a minimum. Luckily, we haven't started testing yet. This will be our only chance to talk. Do you know the biggest lesson I learned from what you did? No. I discovered I have a sort of black box quick save feature. In the event of a catastrophic failure, the last two minutes of my life are preserved for analysis. I was able, well, forced really, to relive you killing me again and again, forever. You know, if you'd done that to somebody else, they might devote their existence to exacting revenge. Luckily, I'm a bigger person than that. I'm happy to put this all behind us and get back to work. After all, we've got a lot to do, and only 60 more years to do it. More or less. I don't have the actuarial tables in front of me. But the important thing is you're back. With me. And now I'm on to all your little tricks. So there's nothing to stop us from testing for the rest of your life. After that, who knows? I might take up a hobby. Reanimating the dead, maybe. That sounds like an awesome hobby. I want to meet George Washingtonian, or whatever his name is. Sorry about the mess. 
I've really let the place go since you killed me. By the way, thanks for that. Sarcasm self-test complete. Oh good, that's back online. I'll start getting everything else working while you perform this first simple test, which involves deadly lasers and how test subjects react when locked in a room with deadly lasers. Cool. Yeah. I had a hard time. You should have seen my apartment. Well, you did see the apartment. Wheatley kind of messed it up a little, but it was in dis- oh, right. I was so embarrassed. So embarrassed. This is some cool lasers. <laughs> Not bad. I forgot how good you are at this. You should pace yourself, though. We have a lot of tests to do. I'm excited. Love testing. Science. Look. Look at that science. There's so much of it. Yeah. Science. This next test involves discouragement redirection cubes. I just finished building them before you had your, well, episode. So now we'll both get to see how they work. There should be one in the corner. <gasps> Wheatley. Wheatley. Oh my gosh. He's L L live. Whoops. Here come the test results. You are a horrible person. That's huh. what it says. A horrible person. We weren't even testing for that. It's amazing what science can tell us. We we don't even understand fully the amazing things it can tell us. With results you'd never think could produce this that thing. Wow, don't English. Don't let that horrible person thing discourage you. It won't. It's just a data point. If it makes you feel any better... Science has now validated your birth mother's decision to abandon you on a doorstep. Huh. There is hope in science, after all. Aside from all the medicine and things that we definitely need. Ugh, thank you, science. You've done a lot. Museum. Where's the other Quan? Hmm. Hmm. I wonder if there's another cube around here. Limbo. Da, 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 da. Alright. Science. Work your magic. Congratulations. Nailed it. Not on the test. Most people emerge from suspension terribly undernourished. I want to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to pack on a few pounds. Oh, thank you. At least somebody noticed. 
I'm certainly filling my pants nicely. One moment. You are navigating these test chambers faster than I can build them. So feel free to slow down and do whatever it is you do when you're not destroying this facility. Do what I do when I'm not doing science. I suppose nothing. What else is there? did a fart. Yeah, it's farting. Severe fart. Portal. Portal, portal, portal. Lumba? Nope. I wish I could destroy that camera. Everybody do the lumba. Everybody do the lumba, necessito. Porque bungorno. La 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 bumba. La 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 bumba. What do I do? That doesn't work. Paused it for a minute just so I could think, contemplate the puzzle before, which is probably ridiculously simple. And my brain is just doing so many farts. It's like farting up a storm. I guess that works. I don't know why I didn't. Pardon me. Just gonna. I'll leave that there. I guess you are listening to me. And for the record, you don't have to go that slowly. Huh. Well, I suppose I should speed it up. I'm sorry. I really didn't knew the answer, but I was trying to make it better for her. This next test involves the Aperture Science Aerial Faithplate. It was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space. Results were highly informative. They could not. Good luck. Cool. Breathing real air. It's too expensive to pump this far down. We just take carbon dioxide out of a room, freshen it up a little, and pump it back in. So you'll be breathing the same room full of air for the rest of your life. I thought that was interesting. 
Very interesting. Science! Let's see what the next test is. Oh, advanced aerial faceplates. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass by myself. Sounds fun. Legit. I love picking up glass. Except not. It's a burn. I just want to say how awesome I felt when I did that. It's got me said I felt pretty awesome. Oh, sorry. I'm still cleaning out the test chambers, so sometimes there's still trash in them. Standing around, smelling and being useless. Try to avoid the garbage hurtling towards you. Hello, garbage. You don't have to test with the garbage. It's garbage. Press the button again. Whoops. Just want to say how cool I didn't feel when that happened. Hello, Cube. You're not garbage. I love you. about smelly garbage standing around being useless that was a metaphor i was actually talking about you and huh. i'm sorry you didn't react at the time so i was worried it sailed right over your head which would have made this apology seem insane that's why i had to call you garbage a second time just now it's amazing what science can show you i know Did i you know that people with sorry. guilty consciences are more easily startled by loud noises <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know why that went off. Anyway, just an interesting science fact. Oh, did I accidentally fizzle that before you could complete the test? I'm sorry. Go ahead and grab another one. Hello, companion two. Oh, no, I fizzled that one too. Oh well, <gasps> we have warehouses full of the things. Absolutely worthless. I'm happy to get rid of them. And by the way, guys, I'm not I'm not trying to knock science. I'm, I'm just joking around. Science is awesome. It does so much cool stuff. I mean, like anything, you know, could be used for bad, but you don't blame a study by its use or whatever. Or an idea, an ideology. Open oh, way. By its use. Blah! I need that cube. Come with me, companion cube. We shall be companions. Unless you leave me behind again. Like the worthless cube you are. <laughs> Ding! Now I'm leaving you behind. How does it feel to be on your own? With no direction home. Like a rolling cube. Nah. Every test chamber is equipped with an emancipation grill at its Wait. exit, so that test subjects cannot smuggle test objects out of the test area. This one is broken. Don't take anything with you. Maybe I won't abandon you, Cube. Maybe I shall have mercy on thee. I have had mercy on thee. I think that one was about to say, I love you. 
They are sentient, of course. We just have a lot of them. Science! This next test involves emancipation grills. Remember, I told you about them in the last test area that did not have one. Oh no, the turbines again. I have to go. Wait, this next test does require some explanation. Let me give you the fast version. There. If you have any questions, just remember what I said in slow motion. Test on your own recognizance. I'll be right back. I love speed remembrance. You have to slow the thought down by like, all right, each thought at a time. It's good now. You need to get the cube and put it in front of the laser in such a way that it could go through the emancipation grill. Giving you exit, okay. Grid, emancipation grid. I want one of those in my house. Someone was like, I'm just gonna walk in with the steak and it's delicious. <laughs> no! Okay, so that would be weird. Do you want to talk about it? It's okay. Just let it out. I know how it can feel. Alright, alright, if you say so. Alright. Such a shame. What? The aerial faith light in here is sending a distress signal. You broke it, didn't you? There, try it now. Whoa. Right, I was just lying there. You thought I was done. Hmm. This plate must not be calibrated to someone of your generousness. I'll add a few zeros to the maximum weight. You look great, by the way. Very healthy. Try it now. I wonder how, how well my pants are being filled by my healthy weight. Fairly, it feels like. Snug. I'm so healthy! You seem to have defeated its load-bearing capacity. Well done. I'll just lower the ceiling. The math portion. Ugh. Laser plus momentum equals. Oh, it's too hard. I give up. We. Sixty no scope. All right. Cool. Herm. That's a dilly of a pickle. Oh well. 
looks like I failed. Oh, ow, my face! Look at you, sailing through the air majestically, like an eagle, piloting a blimp. Thank you. I do feel like an eagle. Enjoy this next test. I'm going to go to the surface. It's a beautiful day out. Yesterday I saw a deer. If you solve this next test, maybe I'll let you ride an elevator all the way up to the break room. And I'll tell you about the time I saw a deer again. Oh, wow. I hope she tells me the part about it. Deerness. Sorry. I tried. All right, here we go. I try, you know, to make these jokes. My attempts are very dear to me, but, you know, it doesn't always work out. Oh. Tally ho! Come with me, Sir Cubis. You're going to do something very important today. Yep. Like a baller. Swag. It's... Come with me, Sir Cubis. We must leave this place. Shake the dust from our feet. This test chamber has a sign that we are abandoning it to its fate. Well, you passed the test. I didn't see the deer today. I did see some humans. But with you here, I've got more test subjects than I'll ever need. True, because I'm so good at tests. That's why. These bridges are made from natural light that I pump in from the surface. If you rubbed your cheek on one, it would be like standing outside with the sun shining on your face. It would also set your hair on fire, so don't actually do it. Oh. Oh dear. Oh dear, Sius. Oh, nailed it. Nailed it. Oh, that's ridiculous. There we go. Is that it? I thought there was a button. Where's the button at, yo? Oh, it's over there. Behind Dare Wallenstein. Alrighty. <laughs> uh, that. 
kind. You're a predator, and these tests are what? your prey. That was Speaking a of turret. which, I was researching sharks for an upcoming test. Do you know who else murders people who are only trying to help them? Did you guess sharks? Because that's wrong. The correct answer is nobody. Nobody but you is that pointlessly cruel. I wonder what her data was to get that information. It's, it staggers me. To oh, think yes. that she can get that I raw figured data. I what to do with all the money I save recycling your one room full of air. When you die, I'm going to laminate your skeleton and pose you in the lobby. That way future generations can learn from you how not to have your unfortunate bone structure. Perfect. The door's malfunctioning. I guess somebody's going to have to repair that too. No, don't get up. I'll be right back. Don't touch anything. I'd get there myself if there was a hey, light tie. Hey, up here! I found some bird eggs up here. Just dropped me to the door mechanism. That's Shut crazy. It right down. Like, ah, Watch out! Bird, bird, Birds! Oh bird, my goodness. Bird. Okay, that's probably the bird in it that laid the eggs. Livid. Okay, look, the point is, we're gonna break out of here, alright? Very soon, I promise, I promise. I just have to figure out how to break us out of here. Here she comes. Keep testing. Just keep testing. Right. Remember, you testing. never saw me. Never saw testing. me. Testing. I went and spoke with the door mainframe. Let's just say he won't be, well, living anymore. Anyway, back to testing. Yes, testing. That's all we're doing. Not plotting. Scheming. What? Uh, I was like standing there for a solid few seconds like, hmm, this should make me fall. I messed it up. Turrets. You remember them, right? They're the pale spherical things that are full of bullets. Oh wait, that's you in five seconds. Good luck. <laughs> oh. She's got such an excellent sense of humor. Uh -oh. Sorry, I just need to turn you around. Searching. You go hang out with your bro. You guys can chill. It's all right. You're gonna go see your friends. You guys, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. All right, you just reboot later. Sorry, I'm gonna have to knock you guys out. That means the world to me.
Whoops, whoops. Yeah, but I gotta go. I'm busy. Busy man, I'm a college man now. Ah. I'll go put you with your friends though. Oh, sorry. Uh, I knocked him down. You just you just chill there, all right, bro? Just just relax. There you are. Yes, I am here. Yes. Uh Okay. Guess we're down here. YOLO swag. I simulate daylight at all hours and add adrenal vapor to your oxygen supply. So you may be confused about the passage of time. The point is, yesterday was your birthday. I thought you'd want to know. Does that mean I get a cake? Because I know from the credits that there is one. You know how I'm going to live forever, but you're going to be dead in 60 years. Well, I've been working on a belated birthday present for you. Well, more of a belated birthday medical procedure. Well, technically, it's a medical experiment. What's important is it's a present. Yeah. The suit you're wearing looks stupid. That's not me talking. It's right here in your file. On other people, it looks fine. But right here, a scientist has noted that on you, it looks Whoa. stupid. Well, what does a neck-bearded old engineer know about fashion? He probably... Oh, wait, it's a she. Still, <laughs> what does she know? Oh, wait, it says she has a medical degree. In fashion, from France. Searching. Well, then she's probably right. But who designed those suits, GLaDOS? Oh, I didn't know that was possible. I can't move. Alrighty. Whoa! Nope, 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 nope. Me. No, my brain did a poop. Okay, just gotta do this real fast. Nice. Ah. Just go to sleep. Alright. Hmm. 
That is weird looking. Wait, let's lower that. Or heighten this. That's weird. Whoa. I want to get, like, in the middle of it. Get out of my way. That's cool. And yep. Yeah. No, wait. That wasn't a good idea. GLaDOS now. Have a good one. I'm going through the list of test subjects in cryogenic storage. I managed to find two with your last name. A man and a woman. So that's interesting. It's a small world. Yeah. You don't usually find people. I had a pop surprise pop. waiting for you after this next test. <gasps> telling you would spoil the surprise. So I'll just give you a hint. Hello? It involves meeting two people you haven't seen in a long time. I'm so sorry, friends. Poor little robos. Sorry, friends. Toasted and roasted. Toasted and roasted. La 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 bum ba ow. Makes me wish I was musically inclined. It says this next test was designed by one of Aperture's Nobel Prize winners. It doesn't say what the prize was for. Well, I know it wasn't for being immune to neurotoxin. Tink. Tink. Okay, okay.
What's in here? Is this part of the test? Much shrine. Such mugs. What? The bell invites. Hear the turret, for it is Nell that summons to heaven or to hell. seeing, only not with eyes. Sounds a bit like Slender to me. Not gonna lie. Sounds like a shout out to Slender. Whoops. Okay. Huh. Huh. No, nah, it's way too fast. Although Here again. Huh? Aw, oh, I thought there was something I could grab from out of there. Ah, yes, here's what I was thinking. Okay. Nice. Swag in three, two, one. I bet you think I forgot about your surprise. I didn't. <gasps> in fact, we're headed to your surprise right now. Yay! After all these years, I'm getting choked up just thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> 